Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of 16 match to be played. We've got Eliod versus King Boo. King Boo has a ton of inducements. He's got Skitter Stab Stab, the uh, Stab Gutter Runner star, star player. He's got a Tackle, Mercenary Tackle Storm Vermin. He's got an Extra Apothecary. He's got a Bribe. And he's got a Wizard. This is uh, lots and lots and lots of stuff. And uh, he's got a natty, and I looks like his strategy is to just one turn instantly. Um, it's interesting because this guy is pretty hard to defend against. Move eight, edge five, leap, strip, wrestle, and this guy is pretty impossible. To, well, both of both of these are pretty impossible to def defend against for the rats. Oh my goodness. Eliod, the looker dog, gets to mighty blow tackle this gutter runner in the face instantly. <laughs> instantly nails his favourite player with mighty blow. Oh, doesn't re-roll. He could re-roll because it's Blood Bowl 2. Chooses not to. And it's an Enzo kick. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Rolls a 1 on the pickup. Okay, it's not over. Oh yeah, yeah, the Edge 5 got to show hands. Just 51 SPPs. Oh man. Okay, he is, I mean, as you can see, he's just picked up that show hands. That's a great pickup for Elliot. I also give show hands to my, I give show hands to my Edge 5 as well. Pretty much just for Elliot's uh, leaping strippers. So, oh. Goes in for a foul here. He's got the bribe. Instant use of the bribe. Yeah, maybe should have come two bribes here, just so we could really. Oh god, this is a uh, this is a disaster. <laughs> it's an instant disaster for King Boo. Oh man, I didn't even hate that. Like, just go for the one turn and uh, you know, and then uh, try and use the wizard to turn over. It's pretty hard for the elves to beat you in a shootout if you just constantly one turn, isn't it? So I mean so I mean you don't, right? Like there's there's four good players. Elliot has four good players. He has this dancer, he has this dancer, he has the edge five and he has the move up. He's got four players that you want to foul. But you know, a lot of people like fouling a lot and hoping to dice the person off the pitch. He's got 13 players. I just don't think that you've got that much chance to do it. And uh, I'd rather be, you know, attempting to use it more like a scalpel than a sledgehammer. And I would be trying. I mean, this, you know, you're so far behind. There's so f you're so far behind that uh, you can argue that, you know, oh my god. You can argue that you're so far behind that you, you know, you need the two bribes, you need to foul everything because you need to completely dice him to have a chance. That That's a reasonable assertion. That is a reasonable assertion. <laughs> because this is bad. <laughs> this is real bad. Oh, we're going to surf the, going to surf the gutter here. No, we I mean, might not. No, we don't serve the gutter. Ah, oh. really nice try from Elliot, though, wasn't it? <laughs> really nice, really nice, really nice idea. In case you didn't get it, <laughs> I mean, you should be able to work it out. <laughs> but if it's a push, it goes there, and then he puts the side up on the sideline. 
uh, well, somebody there and silent and then surf the gutter, which is great, great idea. Yeah, you are so far behind. Look at the teams. The team, like, he's got 500 TV of inducements or whatever, like, you know, and you're against Elliot. Uh, like, you are that far behind on turn two. You just, you just are. You know, you've got to recognise I am not favourite to win this game. And not only are you not favourite to win this game, you're a very, uh, you're a very big underdog. Gets to use his first apple there. So... I mean, did yeah, he dub skull, didn't he? And then powed. It was a pretty horrendous surf attempt. <laughs> that was a gym surf. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can see my original plan. Yeah, I didn't hate it at all. Scoring one turn, then you're on defense with a wizard. You know, Elliot's got to roll dice a two turn. If he fails, you bolt. You add five. Maybe you turn him over, and then you can just keep keep bypassing your offense with. Uh, one turning. Like, I don't hate it at all. I think that was the right strategy. As Kalon the turd would say, correct. Though it wasn't correct to not blitz with this guy if you're going here. Um, no. So obviously, like, this guy could have stood here. And then you get a two dice blitz with tackle. It is obviously lots better. But I know he's a loner, but still, it's two dice, isn't it? That's already that's already re-rolling it. <laughs> you know, a one a one dice that you can re-roll is not as good as a two dice that you can't re-roll. <laughs> and he's got tackle on it. No, leap? No. I'm just going to three dice skitter. Pretty nice, right? Skitter's annoying, stabbing war dancers. I'm surprised he didn't sidestep. Oh, he hasn't got sidestep, has he? But, um, yeah, stabbing war dancers. Pretty good play. And stabbing this guy? He's got the gate dodge, hasn't he? So he could, he could either, um, he could either blitz this guy, two or three dice, and run round. Or he could just gate dodge through here and stab this guy. So he does go for the sit. The problem is if you don't power him here and you haven't got a loner, right? And now he now he seals it up and now you can't break through. So I quite liked the three gutters going through, maybe stabbing him, and then uh, and then do the two D blitz. And if he seals it up, he seals it up. <laughs> oh, I mean, if good as if good as could take stab, it'd be pretty good, right? Blood step, blood step, good as with stab would be sick. Like actually, pretty sick. It would it would shore up the agility matchup quite a lot, wouldn't it? Not that it needs that shoring up, because you've got the fouling, but like the problem is Elliot's got 13 players now. Elliot's team peaked at the exact right time. Uh, loads of the season he had like 6 or 7 players, and now he's got 13. Like, amazing. He's got the stars. He's got the supporting cast like a bit, right? Like he's got some dodge and rodge. It's not terrible, the rest of his team. But like through a lot of the season he only had the star players. And he's kept all of his stars through the season. <laughs> Arch five. He could he could hand it off to this guy. I like this player. Just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hand off. Score. Like honestly, just just go for it. I say, I say just go for it, hundred percent. It's some twos, and then a, a three, and then you just first of all you can probably get totally clear. 
Oh, you could, can you go all the way around? <laughs> you could go. You could run all the way around instead of just leaping through. <laughs> you just run all the way around. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. They just got to run all the way around. I'm not sure about basing the tree, however. And I'm not sure he had to do the second GFI without a reroll. Did he? About to go on holiday. Did he have to do? Like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking the GFIs. rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! He might have had to have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine GFI, GFI. Uh, maybe he didn't. Because you're gonna have to dodge next turn, but you've got to reroll for the. Oh, you're out of rerolls anyway. No, so you GFI. He's out of rerolls anyway. Hundred percent GFI because he's out of rerolls. Because you're gonna get base and have to three plus next turn. So I had to do that. I guess he could have powered, right? He could have powered on the blitz and then not have to dodge. But the GFI is probably better than having to power dodge. Is it? Maybe not, actually. I think it'd be close. Like 30% to power him. So it's like two thirds of 70. Which is what? It's like 23, 46. So, is that right? 46, 76. Nah, so it's, it's it's two plus is better. There you go. There you go. Oh, and this guy could have got based as well. So he could have got double based. So, no, you had to do both GFIs. Had to do the GFIs. Gets the power though, and the AV brick. Sadly not dead. Oh man. I wonder if you should have one deed him, right? Even though it was kind of shit. I wonder if you should, you should have just gone like three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, G. You know, he probably had to two deem, didn't he? Oh! Yeah, maybe this guy should have got in range. Or, or this guy. Maybe this guy should have got in range last turn, right? So we could have bolted and scored. But he's got no reroll, so now the bolt looks shit. And it's Elliot's offense next drive. So just hope that you don't get you hope that you don't concede this one. And then use your bolt on defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And plus you've got like the one turn as well, right? Yeah, without a reroll, bolt looks a bit shit, doesn't it? Like this isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I know it's terrible, but like considering how it started, this isn't the worst. Got two dancers. Uh, got two gutters here. Yeah, Elliot's out of rerolls, so he might not score. But he gets the edge five sure hands back for the pickup next turn. If this fails, obviously he's trying with this guy in a cage. Oh, tries a leap. I mean, he's marked on tackle, so it's just better. But uh, he's not scoring. No, he's got two turns left. He can score with the catcher probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. Yeah, it's the catcher can score. Oh, leaps in, reds him and strips him. Oh, oh I tackle or or a twat. One, two, oh my god, can this guy score? Oh, I'll pass it, pass it, right, okay, okay, let's, let's pause it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty,
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pass. Not terrible, is it? But you can't you can't do a three. Yeah, you can't do uh, it's two two, isn't it? He's got he's got two heads. So we could go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, short pass. That might be better, even though there's two twos without dodge. Three, four, five, six, because you've got to make one anyway. Seven, eight, nine, GFI. So yeah. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, we can't hand off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, hand off. Yeah. Could wait, could he just score then? I guess if he's popped sure feet you uh you hand off. I wonder if just going straight through was better. Oh but he's got sure feet. It's a four plus pass. Dude, if he's got sure feet, you have to get make it more than a four, don't you? What? No. No, he's got sprint sure feet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He didn't GFI at all. No, come on, man. You've got to use dodge and, and GFI three, make it a two plus pass. Oh, oh, that was... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was a big mistake. Big mistake from King Boo. Soaked it. He rolled a three, yeah. Not that the dice roll matters, of course, but, like, that was, like, maybe he's running out of time or something, but, like, with sprint sure feet. Like, you have to make those GFI, and you have to make the dodge as well. Like, you have to use everything that has a skill reroll before you, you, you're reduced to the, uh, the no skill reroll, right? Have to do all of that stuff. Doesn't go for the surf. Instead, blitz is a random player. Hate this. <laughs> like the random right. So okay, here, King Boo. If you're watching, first of all, that was terrible. Had to uh, <laughs> had to make the extra dodge and the GFIs and make it a two plus pass if possible. And if you use your reroll, it, it on the first one, you may be okay passing it because you don't you don't only one turn at a die, right? So, so it's fair enough switching, but like if it's the last one, then a two-two is still better than a three. But I can understand, I can understand actually chickening out, chickening out of the GFIs once you've popped sure feet. But you have to pop dodge and sure feet. You just have to because you've got skillery rolls. And then this should have just been a surf, right? You either surf this guy pretty easily, you know, blitz him and block him, or block him, block him first to see if you, you can use your blitz, right? Move this guy, block him, blockless block. But then it, if you double power him, which you're very unlikely to, but if you do, then you can blitz the dancer. And if you aren't going to blitz him, blitz the dancer because, you know, the dancer's a million times better. You can be my wingman okay, no, never mind. Bullshit. Disregard. I've seen this player on the ground and the dirty player next to him. Disregard. This blitz was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Frickapay. Glorious. Welcome, Raiders. Okay, disregard all of that. I just saw the dirty player. <laughs> this was fine. And in fact, blitzing this guy, I also didn't realize, I forgot it was his offense. So blitzing the sidestep would have put him in range as well. So that would have been... Horrendous, horrendous to have blitzed this. I literally thought it was like a pointless turn eight. So that would have been a horrendous blitz, completely horrendous blitz on this guy. Um, but I think surfing would have been fine, but yeah. Yeah, okay, dirty player fouling the dancer is, is really good, isn't it? Really nice. Hi. Well, honestly, getting out of that nil-nil isn't that bad, but I mean, he definitely, definitely, definitely could have could have scored. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, it could that could have gone. That could have gone a lot further south. He has lost Skitter and has used both apples, I think. No, only one only one apple. Skitter down. Natty's on the bench. So you know, you've got a good chance of overtime and 50-50 to win. Whatever happens. God, Natties are disgusting, aren't they? Absolutely disgusting. I'm not sad Natties are gone. At least there's like some counterplay, even with bloody Underworld. At least there's some counterplay, right? Like, you know, Elliot's one turn in the uh, in the play-ins was good. Many people in the play-ins who chose Underworld wouldn't have scored it. Which is why I think most of the people picking Underworld shouldn't have picked them. Oh, P. Diddy. I think maybe including Art too, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there's, he's not a natty, you have to block. <laughs> he's not a natty, is he? This is the thing. <laughs> but yes, they technically can count. I said that instantly, by the way. Even if it's taken a while for people to uh, to get it. So we're not going to Daka here. Yeah, I was like, oh, that needs to be a that needs to be a FAQ. They've got a hit and run right, and uh, so what they can do is they can move a square for free after they block somebody or blitz. So you could, they could be movement nine, sprint your feet, and then so they could blitz, you know, either backline or whatever, and then uh, go. Yeah, he is going to surf this guy surely. I'll be disgusted if he doesn't. Ah, oh, well, he doesn't. Okay, but he was going to, right? He even puts him there just to show King Boo. He's like, look. Well, they surfed him anyway. Surfed him anyway. There you go. Get or surf. Easy. So, yes, yeah, so they can be movement nine, sprint to your feet, and then they can blitz. And obviously, you don't need to blitz the LOS. They can blitz the back line even. And they can blitz them. And then it, it's, it's a bit harder, the back line, right? Because they've got to be unmarked. So you're probably going to use it on the LOS, like block the LOS and then blitz him and then go through. But they need a lot of stats and they're still a bit shit uh, Zons. But yeah, it's pretty nice they can have a movement 9 person guaranteed. That alone makes Zons like way better, doesn't it? And uh, movement 9 blodge, sprint to your feet is pretty good player. Yeah, yeah, if, if they've got 10 players, then uh, if they've got 10 players total, then you can do it. But if they've got a full 11, um, you need to, like, pow, don't you? No, no, you can't You can't even pow. They, they need to have 10 players for you to be able to blitz the back line. Or, like, you know, not spread out. You can't even be based by a down player, right? With hit and run. Looks like he's not. It's an interesting strategy. Classic Skaven strat. But he's got a wizard. And range 5. So I'd have liked to have seen a token defense. Or you know, at least a blitz somebody and foul them kind of play. And look, we've got a we've got a dancer, so this hit here. This 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 wrestle here should be enough for uh, King Boo. And yeah, look, Elliot's put in the double mark, but uh, this should be enough for King Boo to uh, to blitz this guy and dodge off for the surf. Uh, dodge off for the surf. Dodge off for the foul. I think. Okay, he's going to chain him. It's decent, isn't it? Decent. Fish for a pal. Oh, I don't like just K 
kicked in the I would have rather just caging him. <laughs> just cage this guy. He's closer for the wizard and uh, and less exposed to the mighty blow if this no, no assist foul fails. Gets the KO. Gets the KO thanks to DP. Yeah, I think this guy just hears better, right? Oh, wow. He's based the ball. Just surf. Just surf me, please. And Elliot's like, well... You've got absolutely zero pressure on my balls. So, okay. And then rolls three skulls. <laughs> and then rolls three skulls. But does get in. Wizard Denial. What a name. Yeah, like, this is the thing, right? Imagine if, imagine if like, he defended a bit harder. And he couldn't have just done that. Elliot does seem to be kind of pressure on his balls, yeah. Okay, just shove your balls in my face. <laughs> oh, okay, just shove your balls in my face. <laughs> Brilliant. Really, obviously, you'll have really wanted to push the air uh, tackler into the tree, but it's just too many fills and stuff, wasn't it? No, I think with a wizard, nudge five. Like, I think he was right to bench the Natty. But I think he needs to be more aggressively going after these fouls. Which, to be fair, he's got a two-assist foul and another Dancer here. So he's, <laughs> he's done a three-assist foul, right? He can he can go for the three-assist foul here. No, he can't. No, he can't. Disregard. Two-assist foul, though. Whoa. Okay, double KO. Amazing. Now you start defending. <laughs> now you'd better now you'd better defend. It is cock Elliot if Elliot wins, yeah. Another removal. Right. I mean, you've got to start playing now, King Boo. <laughs> He's just about in range, right? Just about in range. So you, you bolt here 100%. 100%. I think I think Elliot should have scored here. Because he's getting bolted and maybe losing. He's, both his dancers are gone. Bolt, bolt. Just get just get just get just get rid of this guy. Like fuck this guy, sure hands. No! No! You have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine GFID. You know, it might not be good. Oh, he's only movement eight. It's it's absolutely correct. Like it's uh, it is a full double screen, but you just have to. You just have to. You just have to, man. Just bolt. Hope you get one of these three scatters, and then blitz one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI, lob, choose. You've got no dancers left. Like, you just have to. The problem is just how far away it is, is the thing. But, you know, even even if it goes to, like, the worst square, which would be here, you could blitz this guy and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then pass it all out. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Ten, eleven, come back over here and lob it down or something nah I think last turn was so good that, that he couldn't have been in a better position could he like really maybe like he, if he hangs the edge 5 out to dry it's terrible so like 
yeah, of course he scores because he just now that now that the edge five is in range and he has no dancers, he has absolutely no choice to score. <laughs> but I think I think he probably should have scored last turn because uh, boy howdy should uh, should King Boo have scored and uh, not scored bolted million percent bolt a million percent score now as well. Well, well he stood in where he would have dodged, doesn't he? No, it didn't. Matter. Yeah, I think he should have scored last turn, yeah. Yeah, I think he should have scored. I think that was... That was a mistake from Elliot not scoring that was, like, kind of bailed out by the mistake from King Boo not bolting. And it wasn't It wasn't a great bolt. It wasn't a great bolt. But, you know, your alternative is not bolting and, uh, <laughs> and getting this and, you know, you might score. But you haven't shown like, like how like how do you defend versus the dancers? So just one turn and then and then he scores again. You lose two one, right? Or, or you draw two two and you go overtime. Whereas, whereas bolt. I think that was a good bolt. Is it? You know, it didn't look good, but when it's the best you're gonna get. And if he just played like a little bit more aggressively, but still got those big dancer fouls in. Oh god, here we go. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So here we go. Cheeky tuddy. Yep. One at a time. Sure feet. <laughs> KO'd. <laughs> Poor. Poor. Don't say it's over. <laughs> I mean, who can say if it's over or if it's over? But, um... Yeah, it sure looks over. Now he gets a Daka. He literally gets the Daka now as well. <laughs> yeah, this is, the, like, this is the thing. This, this dancer is just a nightmare for you. For your other... Your other elf teams. Thing was, of course, I had a player that was better than this dancer. Much better than this dancer. I don't know if you know, but uh, my player would have surfed this guy without an assist even. Yeah, he should have done, yeah. It was way too passive. Like, you've got an edge five. Like, you've got a real good chance of bolting and turning him over. Like, a real good chance with edge five there. You know, you, it's almost impossible to play against. So just, So just do that. And then make him worry about it. Put it in a place where he has to worry about it. And then, you know, you might win. He got unlucky with the blitz, though, right? That stopped his initial strat of the one turn, and and you know, he he did end up stopping Elliot scoring in in that half. So maybe, maybe it would have worked out all right if he'd got that uh, quick score in the first half. So you know, a bit bit of dice with that blitz, but um, no, I definitely. Definitely think that was the chance to bolt. Merc tackle storm vermin, yeah. <laughs> did did I mention my dead player, Satterfield? It happened to be a strength for witch elf, you know. Um Yeah. <laughs> Best player I ever had. Wrestle, tackle, leap, strength four. And of course, it comes with frenzy, jump up, dodge. It was the, like, it's the ultimate defensive player. It's absolutely the ultimate defensive player. It's, it is. It's my favorite player. What can I, like, Elliot's team couldn't do anything against it. It crushed him. Like, I know I didn't win the game, but, like, I should have, right? If I hadn't, if I hadn't miscounted, if I had not miscounted, if I had counted the squares, um, you know, and obviously there were loads of other dice in the game, but, like, you know, like, he, 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 he cannot, he cannot defend against it. He just can't. Like, nobody, pretty much nobody can defend against the strength four rackle frenzy like holy fucking shit with with leap as well now like leap doesn't work so well so it's not as good and now he bolts here where's his edge five 
there. And okay, it's it, you know, like he's failed his natty and everything, but come on, man, he could have been one nil up. He could have been one nil up after full time if he if he bolted then. Yeah. I don't care about the 80k, honestly, so I don't. Re I super don't care about the TV of the strength. Yeah, the problem is the leap was actually really good. The leap is what makes her completely undefendable. Like I would still take a strength witch elf, hundred percent. 80 TV, no problem. I take plus AV as well. I just go wrestle, tackle, strength, AV, AV. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Armor 9. Armor, armor 10 plus witch elf. No problem. Oh, he forgot to move it back up after the touchback. So if he'd done his safe moves, maybe he would have been in and he could have made it 1-1. One, one. Maybe if he makes it 1-1, one, one, he wins the toss and scores with a natty. So, yep, there you go. There you go. If Just played a bit tighter. Done the safe moves before the before the one turn, yep. Because, you know, you've got three 1 in 36s. It's, it's not automatic, is it? You know, it's about a 1 in 12. I know it's not. It's probably a 1 in, you know, 1 in 18 or whatever, but... There's a there's like a non-zero chance you just fail fail the GFI, so um so yeah, do all your safe moves first for sure. So yeah. Had he planned for failure with the Natty, he might have still got this with the wizard. But then of course Elliot might have played differently if the if there was an edge five in range and stuff. So who knows? Very good, Demento. Very good. Wonderful use of exclamation point, Natty. No. Doesn't get in. End of the game. So it is Elliot versus Hancock in the quarterfinal. There are four, obviously, quarterfinals. One's already been played. I was hoping to do them all live. But, um, I'm, you know, I'll do them live if, if I can. And same with the semis in the final. But uh, I might not be able to do them. But, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll you know, I'll realise when they're scheduled and, uh, and, and cast them live. But, uh, yep, congratulations, Elliot, commiserations, King Boo. Uh, I am, I am. The bracket, I'm playing in one, yeah. So here's the bracket. I haven't updated it yet, of course. I should have done because I knew the winner. <laughs> so here's the bracket. It's Elliot in the top one. Elliot versus Hancock. Spoke Bearer versus Piebot. Jimmy Fantastic versus PK83. And Galabranth versus Papa Bao. Uh, three L's on one side of the draw. Three Necro on the other. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do them, I'll do them live if, if I can in replays, if I can't, you know, it replays if I can't do them live or if I just don't realize when they are uh, like today, you know, I could have done the one today live and didn't. So there you go. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. So I don't want to do the replay now cause it's quarter past midnight, but I'll do that and stuff. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of necro. Yeah. It's, it's hard, right? It's hard. PK83 is a hard game. I think we drew last time when he like rolled two quad skulls in a half, but he did dice me the second half. So, you know, it was a, it was a tale of two halves. The uh, last one versus PK83. And, uh, you know, very obviously very capable of losing that game. And then even if I do beat that, even if I do win that game, Galabranth's team is completely batshit insane. He's got like 500 SPPs. He's got one of the one of the, if not the absolute best necro team I've ever seen, which probably wouldn't have been enough versus my witch elf. But unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned it. I had a strength for witch elf that died, and uh, <laughs> don't have it anymore. So yeah, right. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>